This has lasted much longer than any other protest I've ever seen on Wall Street, and I've seen a lot of sit-ins and protests and marches. This is definitely one has more legs than any that I've ever seen. Occupy Wall Street has been trying to raise awareness of this growing income gap, this growing uh, opportunity and wealth between the richest people in America and the rest of us, the 99%, they say. They're protesting inequality, lack of opportunity, a jobs market that's not working for everyone, too much student debt, and uh, kind of they feel like they've been sold a bill of goods, that they've taken out all the student debt for a place in a, an economy that's not giving them a job that's going to help them pay off that student debt. What they're protesting, they're protesting business as usual in Washington and business in usu as usual on Wall Street. Both of those two big institutions, two big power structures in America that they think have conspired to make the wealthy wealthier and not serve the middle class uh, and poor people. When you talk to them, they say, we're not going to draw up a specific list of demands. We're here to draw awareness to the numbers that don't lie, that the rich are getting richer, the middle are barely holding on, and the poor are getting poorer, and that there are just fundamental unfairnesses that have to go with greed in banks and greed in Washington that make this continue. The richest 1% of Americans made $343,000 last year or more, according to the IRS. That 1% uh, has seen its income triple from 1979 to 2007. At the same time, the middle class has seen its income up about 40%, and uh, the poor, the very bottom of that uh, income has barely seen it move. So you've seen a widening income gap, the biggest, widest income gap we've seen in this country in 70 years. <laughs> More than punishing the 1%, uh, what they're saying is, we are the 99%. What about us? We are a bigger group. We can be strong. We can stand here and occupy someplace and show you and raise awareness that your policies are not benefiting everyone. They're only benefiting a few. So rather than uh, indicting the top 1%, and there are those who do that, but they're really trying to turn the focus on the 99% who they say have been left behind. <laughs> 